I was basically homeless living in a respite when my caseworker from another provider did a referral and got me an interview to come to the Village of Hope. The moment I stepped in there, even for my tour and my interview, I felt welcomed. The staff seemed like extended family who really cared. All the ladies seemed supportive and understanding where I was coming from. Um, I did get accepted and two days later I moved in and it was the start of my journey to stay sober and to build my mental health recovery. During those two years I really got to grow as a person. My mental health was strong and I was sober today. I have six and a half years clean and a lot of that is due to the village because I know if I didn't go there, I would have ended up using again and probably would be an institutionalizer day. I got introduced to peer support through groups they had. We had two peer specialists coming in to run groups and the peer specialists kind of showed me that these people have lived experience and they're willing to share it. I started working with Carlene, a peer specialist, and she helped me with the transition moving out, and then she helped me see that I could become a peer specialist. I always wanted to help people, but I never knew where to go because I didn't have a full college degree. Role modeling her, it made me realize that could be a goal, and she walked me through the steps on trainings and everything I needed to do. She was there when I got accepted into the Montgomery class and I graduated. And my main goal was to become a peer specialist, but my top goal was to work at Penn Foundation. I got hired. I still remember the day Jane called me. And since then, it's been like amazing to work at. And I'm glad I'm still at Penn Foundation. And then on top of that, I now work part-time at the Village of Hope as a residential advisor, where I'm basically able to share my lived experience and show empathy that I understand what these girls go through and show them that you can do the full 360 in your recovery and give back to others. What brought me to Penn Foundation was after college, I was really struggling with uh, anxiety and depression. I definitely struggled in both high school and college, uh, but kind of put everything to the all my mental health stuff to the side because I, I wanted to finish school. It really took a toll on me. Um, I wasn't able to work and I was just not in a great place. I started going to Penn Foundation for therapy because uh, my family had gone there previously and my therapist uh, connected me with uh, recovery coaching. She asked me what my, like, uh, my plan for my future was, what I wanted to work towards. And I told her, you know, I really want to use all that negative experience that I had in school with my mental health challenges for something positive. And she was like, oh, well, I have this pamphlet here for peer support. And I, I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is exactly what I want to do. That's when I got connected with the peer support department and I worked with my peer specialist, uh, Ryan Schwager. I felt like I went from just kind of like treading water in my recovery to doing stuff like this, which I never could have imagined I would be able to do. With a lot of support from Ryan and my other supports at Penn Foundation, uh, I took the peer specialist training and then got a job at Penn as a driver on the FAC team. And when a opening for the peer support department uh, came about, they asked me to step in. When that spot became permanent, they asked me to stay on and Ryan became my supervisor. It was just amazing to have that change from Ryan being my peer specialist to being my supervisor and I've been on the team for just over three years now and it's been awesome. I think Penn Foundation is just a, an infinitely valuable service. I was able to utilize so many different things by coming to Penn Foundation. Therapy, recovery coach, peer support, the REACH program, Clubhouse, all of them helped me in very different ways and they all helped me grow in a very holistic way uh, improving physical health mental health developing skills around independent living just having that choice available to me for different stages of my recovery um, was extremely valuable to me i think it's important to support penn foundation because like matt said it offers so many services in one spot um, in most agencies that I've been part of as a client, it's very like we offer this and then you have to go to this person and you never feel like connected to one resource. I 
was at the village, so I utilized all their staff, um, their psychiatrist, their therapist. I was part of the REACH program, peer support, and now I'm able to give back. Without the funding, Penn Foundation wouldn't be able to offer all the amazing services. I think it's the only organization where you can come to one spot and get every service from the beginning. If it's substance abuse, start in our rehab, go to IOP, then you can move on to mobile services, and then you continue your adventure on with those supports that will just keep growing with you.